Horses are intrinsically highly social animals. An ordinary healthy horse would never live alone by choice. When horses live in a group situation either in the domestic state or free living they have a rich and mixed social life that includes activities such as play behavior and reciprocal grooming behavior. Horses that live in groups and graze naturally get to exercise their senses continually. For instance, they sense each other when greeting and they smell each other's waist. They use their visual and hearing senses to look out for and listen for misfortune. They use their senses of taste and smell when choosing which plants to graze. Horses that live in a group communicate with one another, particularly by using body language. Horses have developed modest and not so quiet signals to communicate with one another. Living as part of a group has many benefits such as safety and numbers. Grazing involves having the head down in the grass which makes it hard to see other animals approaching. More sets of eyes and ears mean that some animals can be seen or heard sooner. A horse living alone in the wild would be much more reasonable to be caught by some animals. This horse would also spend too much nervous energy by having to stay in a forever alert state. So for this basis horses either live in family groups or bachelor groups. Horses that live in groups can take it in turns to be alert and to rest and hence responsibility is shared among group members. Horses are trickle feeders meaning they eat small amounts of food practically always. They are meant to eat for between 12 and 17 hours throughout the day and night. This food should be low in energy and high in fiber. A good example is low sugar grasses and fodder made from low sugar grasses. Horses are not meant to eat meals consisting of highly concentrated food only. Even if a horse is receiving concentrates, then the high fiber, part of the diet must be kept up to keep the abdomen functioning properly. Otherwise, the chance of colic and gastric ulcers is improved. Too much grain or free access to enhanced grasses which are too high in sugar for horses can cause problems such as laminitis and obesity which are very serious conditions. A horse will instinctively run at the first sign of trouble and for this reason, horses are highly reactive. Good training can overcome this behavior so that a horse and rider or handler are safer. Nevertheless, it must always be recalled that if a horse feels otherwise then they may resort to kicking out, biting, or striking if they cannot escape. When handling a horse aim to read the body language of the horse. Seek to not pressurize the horse to the point where he or she feels that escape or defense is essential. Wild horses travel many kilometers a day from feed to water in what is comprehended as the home spectrum. Horses walk steadily while grazing and also have to travel between where the water is and where the feed is. Free living horses usually travel around 31 kilometers a day, sometimes much more. This continuous movement helps to keep blood and lymphatic fluid circulating in the body. It also helps to wear the claws down as the horse moves across a sort of landscape ranging from soft and wet to abrasive and dry. Movement is a crucial part of the life of a naturally living horse so domestic horses must be kept in a way that enables movement as much as possible.